Well, I made a video talking about the Devonte Adams trade sort of in retrospect and kind of breaking down all those little details, but then it kind of got me thinking, what if I just made a video talking about Adams himself and where he's at right now? How good of a player is Devonte Adams? Well, let's get into it and let's just start off with some film. We'll get into some numbers and stuff like that, but let's start off with the play you see on the screen where you see the Indianapolis player who's going to be covering him. And here's the thing about Adams. Listen, 31 years old, uh, will be 32 next season. But one thing that I just, I, I feel like he's going to you know, be able to age well because of this one thing where watch what he's going to do on this play. You see when it begins, first you're going to see Adams kind of, it's sort of like he's faking as though he's going towards his right, so you might think, okay, maybe he's going towards his left. Uh, I don't know how what I would even do to describe this move, just watch Adams. Watch him kind of spin around and then stay where he's at, though, makes the catch and gets the touchdown. I mean, that's one of those, like, you know, for the defender, I don't know what to tell you there. I mean, that's just Devontae Adams being Devontae Adams. He's so creative with his route running and does so many unique things that, quite frankly, I mean, I don't really know how to, you know, defend against if I'm a defender. This kind of stuff leads you to believe that even if he does lose a step or two, he's still going to be a valuable player because he's still going to have that. But let's talk about, okay, but has he lost a step or two? Well, if you look at some numbers, first, just some box score stats, and you do see that, you know, he was on a run of three straight seasons where he had 1,300 yards, uh, and then, you know, he had just shy of 1,000 in 2019 before having 1,300 in 2018 as well. The numbers are down, but again, you could certainly, you know, equate that to potentially situation around him and stuff like that, for sure. And if you look at, like, PFF grades, I mean, it's also down. So it is worth mentioning, PFF tries to, you know, take situation out of the uh, equation here, uh, you know, can't do a perfect job, but they also say, you know, listen, uh, an 80 grade is still a very good grade, but they do say that it is down from his typical elite self. But again, let's get back to the film, because you can't just look at this stuff, you have to watch film to really evaluate a player so going over here, is it situation? Well, well, to some degree, yeah. Like a play like this, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup on a third down and six. So this is, hey, you know, this is why you went out and got Adams, right? To win in these situations. Aiden O'Connell is going to take the snap. He is going to look in Adams' direction. And it's not like there's a ton of separation or anything, but Adams isn't someone who always needs a ton of separation. You know, in Green Bay, how often would Rodgers just throw it up in Adams' direction and Adams would find a way to kind of use his route running to get himself open at the last second and make a catch or just, you know, jump over a guy? That, that would often happen. Here, though, I would say this throw doesn't really give Adams a, a, a chance, you could say. I mean, Adams even kind of gives a little bit of a look, like, what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, they don't really they never really had the chemistry down. Whether that's Adams' fault or O'Connell's fault, because, you know, maybe O'Connell was hoping for Adams to stop a little earlier. I don't know. I'm not in the huddle, right? But the reality is, it feels like those are the situations that usually they would win on that they wouldn't quite win on. Also, something like this was something I, I weirdly saw a decent amount when I was watching film for this video, so I figured I'd bring it up. Don't know exactly what to make of it, but again, it's going to be one of those situations, a one-on-one -on -one situation. There's technically two safeties deep, but it's that sort of, you know, this is the game after Brandon Staley was fired, but it's that Brandon Staley style of defense of two safeties deep, but the sidelines can still be open. You're going to see that, once again, it's Aiden O'Connell. He's firing one up towards uh, Adams, and this is not a bad throw. This is a potentially catchable ball here. But Adams can't quite make the play, and he wanted a flag. He's complaining to the ref about a flag, did not get one. Felt like this happened a good amount. I don't know if he just wasn't getting the calls that he usually gets, or perhaps it's something where the contact is affecting him more. I, I don't know. But it's, again, it was something that I noticed, so I wanted to bring it up. But that being said, I don't want to come off like I'm being, you know, hard on Adams or that I think he like has lost a step or anything like that. Because I got to be honest, when I watched the film, I saw way more examples of him looking like, you know, Devontae Adams of old than him, you know, looking like he has lost a step. And I would probably still lean towards he's still just as good. And maybe the situation around him caused him to have some slightly lower numbers. Like a play, play like this is an example where what's going to happen is it's a zone coverage play, but it's going to be a, with a hard play action. They're going to get a lot of players out of position. So you see where Adams is. He's the one in the yellow circle. Watch when this play begins. You see right here. So again, very early on into the play, he's kind of faking at what he could do to the, the corner who's uh, covering him. Uh, and again, corners in zone. So he's not just covering Adams here. 
But watch how well Adams moves, cuts over the middle, gets wide open, and even is not so easy to take uh, bring down an open space either. This is just what Adams can bring to the table, and honestly, what he was doing for the Raiders pretty consistently. So uh, again, if you want to say he's lost a step, I got him. Listen, he didn't have 1,500 yards playing with Aiden O'Connell. I don't know if that counts as losing a step necessarily, and I don't even want to be harsh on Aiden O'Connell because he had some nice uh, games as well. Just that, you know, let's be honest. It wasn't, he wasn't exactly playing with Mahomes. Like this play was another uh, situation kind of like this where it's going to be a man coverage play. You see the route he's going to be running, just kind of, you know, that slant route over the middle, but watch how well he runs it. Again, watch him be able to cut so smoothly. The second he starts cutting, you see how far off that corner is. He was kind of surprised by, oh, you're cutting over the middle now. I got to get over there. And part of it is when someone like Adams, you know, can kind of uh, cut on a dime and also does so much of his route running, sometimes you're just, you're less likely to move when he is moving because you're still like, but is there another move coming? But this time there isn't. Adams is able to make the grab. He runs by the corner and is able to pick up a good amount of yards. So, like, yeah, these are really good plays from Adams. So, yeah, I mean, as I said, like, I really didn't see a massive decline. Like, the numbers are the numbers. And, like, did he win slightly? You know, usually you expect him to win with a certain amount of consistency in a given season. He didn't quite have that this season. Like, you can't deny that. You can say, oh, PFF is stupid and who cares about box score stats? But, like, you know, there, there are, those are systems that we can use and like, it is a thing. I think we shouldn't just ignore it. I really uh, don't think that, but I also think it's fair to say like, listen, I don't think his explosiveness has gone down at all. I don't think his route running has gone down at all. All his physical tools seem to be just as good. He was in a more tumultuous situation than he's used to. And to me, that would probably be something I would lean towards being the bigger indicator of what potentially could have gone wrong than, you know, uh, just like, a uh, Oh, he, you know, he he's lost a step. Now, again, guys, guys in his 30s, right? Wide receivers do tend to fall off around this time. Like that's also a reality of the situation. Um, and you could maybe make the argument that, you know, while I said, hey, his route running is good enough that he's probably always going to be good. You could make the argument that if you're a faster receiver and you rely on your speed, well, once you start to lose a step, well, then you can start to rely on other stuff. But if you're not the fastest receiver and you lose a step, well, maybe you won't, you know, your route running can't work anymore because you're not as fast. There, there's an argument to be made. But again, I still think he's going to be successful as long as the route running is good. And again, like the guy had 1,100 yards last year. It's not like he was struggling. He had an 80 PFF grade. It's not like he was bad. So even if he is, you know, even if he is on a downswing, that doesn't necessarily mean he's a bad player or he isn't you know, good. It just means he might be on a downswing. So, um, yeah, I mean, as a whole, I guess, what's the final verdict on all of this? I don't know. It was an interesting video, I think, for me to go back and watch him and see how good he is. I think he's still very good. Do Am I maybe a slightly more concerned than I would have been entering this past year? Yeah, I think that's fair. I think it's fair to be a little bit uh, less high on him than you were entering the previous year, but I still think he's very good, and I still think he'll be very good next year. That's kind of my, my final verdict on all of that, but yeah. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.